2024 Fiat 500e Review Navigating Urban Landscapes with Style and Charm The 2024 Fiat 500e can be summed up in one word, wow. It's the most fun you can have driving in the city without stepping into a full-fledged sports car. This little vehicle zips through traffic and maneuvers through tight spots only locals would recognize, offering a ride that's both playfully exaggerated and remarkably controlled. The accelerator feels like a direct connection to a valve that releases speed. The steering is as responsive and quick as a Mario Kart Wii mode, and the motor's quiet wee hee when you accelerate could be prescribed as a mood booster. But is that mood boost worth $37,595? especially when the car struggles to reach the next major city on a single charge. For some, it just might be. Pros. A powertrain that delivers more than expected. Adorable, city-savvy design. Ridiculously fun to drive. Cons. Limited range, best suited for city driving. Suspension that's as bouncy as a trampoline. A hefty $37,595 price tag for a city car. High prices, artful interior. $38,000 for a Cinquecento? Yes, that's the price for the top tier, inspired by music trim, complete with a luxurious white leather interior. The seats are stylish and reasonably comfortable, though they could use more support for cornering and longer drives. However, since most trips in the 500e won't exceed an hour, that's not a huge drawback. The leather-wrapped steering wheel feels great, the push-button transmission controls are intuitive, and the rear seats are surprisingly functional, as long as passengers are under 5 foot 5. Up front, there's enough headroom even for those over 6 feet tall, with a driving position that's upright and chair-like, keeping you at a similar height to what you'd find in an Escape or CRV. Despite the high price tag, the interior materials are a mixed bag. The upper dashboard on both the Inspired by Beauty and Inspired by Music trims is a beautifully textured piece, and even the solid red dash on the base trim looks striking. But below that dash, you encounter cheaper, rubbery material that's less visually appealing, although it's soft enough to cushion your knees during spirited drives around town. The door release buttons get more design attention than the rest of the door panel, which is a bit of a letdown. For the base cloth appointed in spy, red, trim, pricing drops to a less painful $34,095. By comparison, the 2024 Mini SE starts at about $32,000 with similar range and much more power, and the much more practical 2023 Chevy Bolt EV went for about $30,000 with roughly double the range of the smaller two-door hatchbacks. EVs still aren't cheap, but that's changing faster than many realize, meaning no 500 e bought in 2024 is going to be a good deal. Emotion numbers. So why would anyone get one? Because it looks like it says, ciao and it goes like a Super Legera magic carpet, at least in the city. If you can afford an almost $40,000 car that's realistically only for city duty, you're not paying for a spec sheet, you're paying for personality. The 500 ES personality is raucously joyous, like a raver when the beat drops, or an extrovert meeting long-lost friends, accelerating from 20 to 50 when on a nearly full charge, especially over rough pavement, is a giggle-producing event. It makes the 500e feel dramatically more powerful than the rated 117 horsepower and tested 7.9 second 0 to 60 time, as the motor whizzes away with that inexorable electric torque. Twisting the wheel and yanking the car through corners feels almost like arcade physics, even on the less than stellar factory tires. Thanks to the floor-mounted battery the center of gravity is cartoonishly low for the 500ES height. Handling is impressively neutral, with enough rotation to swing through a corner, but no detectable oversteer or handling vices. The 500ES handling is so good one might swear the quoted 2,982 pound curb weight was more like 2,500 pounds, until you need to brake. Braking distances were around 126 feet during testing, and are notably high for a vehicle of this weight. When driving hard, leave plenty of extra space to stop. The 500e is a riot around town, but this is no race car, though one wonders what the Abarth is like. Traction control is easy to trip, especially with ESC on, and on dusty or loose surfaces power needs to be fed in slowly when accelerating out of tight corners to keep juice from being cut. While handling balance is great, the suspension is comically bouncy and somewhat harsh. 
This just lends itself to the peppy charisma of the Fiat in most cases, as accelerating away while bounding down the road is roller coaster levels of fun. But when you're tired and just need to get home, that bounciness begins to overstay its welcome. European City Chic The bouncing joy of the 500 ES driving experience is only half the reason anyone interested in the cute runabout will get one. No matter where it's parked, this very electric Cinquecento looks like its next destination is a Milan art gallery. The inspired by blank trim level names, intricately designed door buttons, and admittedly deft use of chrome on our tested example all evoke thoughts of people who take style very seriously. Unfortunately, as stylish and fun as the Cinquecento E is, using it outside a metro area isn't a good idea. Besides some wind noise, highway driving itself is just fine though the Fiat no longer feels any faster than its rated power at highway speeds. A quoted top speed of 93 miles per hour is cute, and more than anyone using the 500e correctly needs. When the Fiat does occasionally venture onto the highway however, it feels much better than the previous generation's 1.4-liter engine, despite having only 122 miles of Mount Road Trip range. That's 13% less than the EPA 141-mile range, a drop smaller than most vehicles. If you aren't driving more than 40 miles a day, trickle charging from a standard 120-volt outlet is surprisingly enough to keep the 500e going day after day, and one can confidently take two-hour round-trip journeys with a sizable reserve if you stay off the highways. That said, level 2 charging at home is definitely the best idea. We saw a peak charging power of 85 kilowatts, with time 27 minutes for a 5-80 percent charge and 72 minutes for a 5-100 percent charge. In its element, the 500e is clearly a bundle of fun, but unfortunately that niche isn't large. However, for those whom the 500e makes sense, it'll be the apple of their eye. The 2024 Fiat 500e offers a surprisingly lively performance for a compact electric vehicle. Its electric motor delivers a punchy 117 horsepower, which might not seem like much on paper, but in the lightweight, nimble 500e, it translates to a zippy and engaging driving experience. The 500e is particularly at home in urban environments, where its small size and quick acceleration make darting through traffic and tight spaces a breeze. The steering is light yet responsive, giving the car an almost go-kart-like feel, which adds to its overall fun factor. The 500e's electric powertrain provides instant torque, allowing it to accelerate quickly from a standstill, making it ideal for city driving. However, while the 500e is great for short trips and city commutes, its range is somewhat limited, with a full charge offering around 150 miles. This makes it less suitable for long highway journeys. Additionally, the suspension is tuned more for urban agility than comfort, which means the ride can feel a bit harsh over rougher roads. Overall, the 2024 Fiat 500e excels in providing a spirited and enjoyable. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.